Hello YouTube, it's Detroit Borg. Today is April 30th and the iPad 3G has finally landed. This is an iPad 3G 64 gig model. Just arrived from FedEx and it's about 210. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing. interesting that this is a 3G model but the picture on the box is actually the Wi-Fi model. 3G model has a black plastic upper portion that uh, helps to increase the reception for 3G signals uh, and this picture seems to be the Wi-Fi model only. There's no other indication on the box that this is a 3G model. It looks exactly like the box from the Wi-Fi model I already own. Now it does say down here iPad Wi-Fi with 3G, 64 gigabyte USA. So of course we have this little tab to pull it up. So of course we can identify this as a 3G model because it has this black plastic window at the top. And also on the side is a little SIM card slot. So right here you use a little pin to push open the SIM card slot and pop it out. And this is a micro SIM. Of course everything else is the same. 30 pin dock and the speakers. The volume rocker and the accelerometer switch. The lock screen, headphone jack and microphone. Let's get the plastic off. So there we go, I need to connect this to iTunes to activate it. Before I do that, let's take a look at the comparison between this and the Wi-Fi. Okay, on the side we have the 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi only model, and this is the 64 gigabyte 3G model. And from the front, the only thing that differentiates them is this black bar at the top, which is kind of handy because it also helps you to visually orientate the iPad when you're using it. So you can see on the back we have no window on the Wi-Fi model and the window on the 3G model. Everything else is otherwise the same. Now let's take a look at what's inside this box. should be just like the Wi-Fi model I unboxed earlier this month. Of course we have a little box with some instructions. Well this is a little different. This one actually has a pin to remove the SIM card slot. You can see that right here. This is a little SIM card ejection tool. And a little diagram explain how to do it. iPad manual, iPad warranty information, and of course Apple stickers. Here we have the USB cable and the 10 watt wall board or USB power adapter. Of course this is the US version with the two pins. Alright so I have my iPad dock already connected to my iMac, so let's go ahead and connect the iPad 3G. So iTunes should appear right now. iPad, accessing iTunes Store. Let's get started. Since I already have an iPad, I'm going to go ahead and do a restore from a backup of my current iPad. So it's going ahead and restoring from a backup, as you can see right there. Okay, the iPad has restarted and was attempting to sync to my iTunes account, but I want to skip that because that's going to take some time. And instead, I'm going to go and show you how to register your 3G access with AT&T. Okay, so I have my iPad 3G here. And I can see I have a little 3G icon active right now in the top left corner. 
Um, I can activate this by going to settings, go to seller data, go to view account. My seller data account comes up and right now I have no account so it should be blank. Okay, so I see a form here with all the private information, which I'll submit off screen, and I have the option to select data plans. 250 megabytes of data for 30 days for $14.99, or unlimited data for 30 days for $29.99. And of course, that is the one that's selected by default. So let's go ahead and enter that information in. Okay, I've registered my account and I'm seeing the terms of service. Let me hide that keyboard. I'm going to click Agree. So I see my personal information, I'm just going to click Submit. Please wait while the page is loading. This should only take a few seconds to complete. Now, unfortunately, it's telling me that AT&T is not able to process your request. We apologize for any inconvenience. Please try again later. All right. Well, unfortunately, I can't use it right now. Not sure what the problem is, but could be activation load today. All right, good news. Looks like I finally got AT&T to register my account, so I'm all set to go. So let's try it out. Data plan activated. Your data, your AT&T cellular data plan has been successfully activated. Let's try it out. So there we go. Internet via 3G on your iPad. Once again, this is Detroit Borg. Thanks for watching.